One of the ways to really flesh out your credibility as a luxury car maker is to build high performance versions of some of your best cars. Taking your executive cruiser and doubling its horsepower, for instance, not only makes it way cooler, but it also lets you show off just how smart your engineers are. The Cadillac CTS V perfectly embodies that strategy. Take the regular CTS luxury sedan and stuff in a whole bunch of performance parts. On paper, we know this car's got what it takes. It's got a big V8 engine, carbon fiber aerodynamic parts, Brembo brakes, all those things. But we want to find out what it's like to live with in the real world. How does it look? I love the way the CTS-V looks, especially when you've got dark wheels and carbon fiber contrasting with this white paint. It strikes that perfect balance of showing off its performance side, the big spoilers and splitters and exhaust tips, with still looking respectable enough that you could show up at the board meeting without causing a stink. There's no mistaking though that it's a fast, serious machine. What I think this reflects is that the CTS is a really stylish sedan in general, with taut, sharp lines and great proportions. Yes, all Cadillac sedans kind of look the same from a distance, but the CTS is a looker in any trim level. How's the storage? The CTS V's trunk is pretty big overall. It's very deep, although I wish it were a little wider and I wish the opening weren't quite so narrow. Now you can also easily fold down the rear seats to get more storage space, but the opening into the passenger compartment is on the small side. In other words, you won't be carrying a dresser back here, but as we're about to see, you can easily fit a couple of suitcases. Up front, storage is a little disappointing. The central cubby isn't that big, and nor are the door pockets. And the same, the glove box isn't that big either. Fortunately, you can push a button to lift open part of the center stack. There's a USB port back there and optionally wireless phone charging. So it's a great place to store an iPod or phone that you want to keep tucked away while on the road. Is it roomy? For the front seats, the most notable thing is that there's a lot of elbow room at either side and tons of adjustability for the power seats, so it's always easy for me to find a comfortable position. I've driven Cadillac CTSs for hundreds of miles at a time and always been plenty comfortable. The back seats aren't bad in general, though headroom's a little tighter than in the front. The most annoying thing is that the seat cushions aren't really long enough, and so there's a little part of the car's bulkhead that sticks out ahead of the cushion. How does the interior feel? To go along with its sporty vibe, the CTS-V has a lot of nice features inside. We've got lots of suede and leather and carbon fiber trim. Overall, the interior is pretty nice, except for probably these climate controls. They're all touch sensitive and they're really kind of finicky to feel and touch while you're driving. Plus the shiny black plastic picks up a ton of fingerprints. I'd much rather just have really nice switches that feel nice and actually move in your hands that you can feel while you're driving. Is it well equipped? The CTS-V comes with tons of features as standard, so any option packs are really just to make it look better. Standard features include things like leather seats, park assist, a 13-speaker Bose sound system, wireless phone charging, 19-inch wheels, remote start, touchscreen navigation, dual-zone climate control, and pre-collision warnings. The options on this car include extra carbon fiber parts, these awesome Recaro sports seats, heated rear seats, the cool rear camera mirror system, and some other cool pieces, like the red painted brake calipers, which are $595 on their own. How's the infotainment system? The infotainment system is pretty good overall, with everything controlled from this 8-inch touchscreen. The Maps interface has a dark and not particularly detailed view, which I don't love, but ultimately it's pretty easy to hop around all the other menus. Features include Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, a Wi-Fi hotspot, and of course, navigation. This touchscreen even has the performance data recorder from the Chevy Corvette, which lets you take video with telematics of your speed, g-forces, and so on when you're on a track. You can also reconfigure the color instrument cluster to display whatever information you want, whether that's navigation or music data or performance statistics. Things I don't love, all the capacitive touch surfaces around the touchscreen. They're just a little finicky and it's tough to use them by feel without drawing your eyes away from the road, and that's distracting. Is it a good daily driver?
One of the really impressive things about the CTS-V is how civilized it is when you leave it in its default touring mode. It drives just like a Cadillac, and that's a compliment. The suspension doesn't bang over bumps, the steering's not too heavy for parallel parking, and the exhaust is actually pretty quiet for the most part. There's nothing about the way this car drives that would stop me from wanting to use it as my daily driver, and besides, it's got a back seat, a reasonably big trunk, it seems like a pretty decent everyday performance car. Is it fun to drive? Uh, yes. That's why you buy a CTS-V instead of just a regular CTS. Okay, let's start with the engine. It's a 6.2 liter supercharged V8, basically shared with the one in the Corvette Z06. 640 horsepower, 630 pound-feet of torque. This thing is quick. Cadillac says it'll get to 60 in 3.7 seconds, and I believe it. I love this engine. There's power everywhere. Um, the 8-speed automatic transmission is pretty good for the most part. You can switch it into manual mode and use these paddles. This car is just phenomenally fast, and I absolutely love it. But there is more to this car than just raw horsepower. So it's got magnetic ride control suspension and these Pilot Super Sport tires and the electronically controlled rear differential. So it's got a ton of grip and great composure at all time too. The steering feel is phenomenal. I think a lot of other car companies wish they could have this much communication and feedback in a sports sedan. And same with the brakes. The Brembo's obviously stop the car really well, but what I love is how firm and precise the pedal is. You don't need that much travel to adjust exactly how much deceleration you're getting. Basically, no matter what I do, this car is a riot, and I love driving it. It's a ton of fun. How's the fuel economy? You don't buy a car with a supercharged V8 to save the planet. The window sticker reads 14 miles per gallon city and 21 highway. I've seen as little as 11 mpg when driving hard, so bear that in mind if you hate going to the gas station. In fact, the CTS-V is so thirsty there's a $1,000 gas guzzler tax based into the price tag. How much is it? The CTS-V starts at around $86,000, but this one has 23 grand worth of options. At just a smidge under $110,000, this feels like a lot to pay for the CTS-V. Again, it's a great car, but to me it's just not quite a six-figure car. What are the negatives? Probably the biggest negative on the Cadillac CTS sedan in general, even in this V trim, is that the interior isn't quite as plush or fancy as you'll get in some of its German competition from Audi, BMW, and Mercedes. And as we mentioned before, it's really pretty expensive and it uses a lot of gas, no matter how you drive it. Who should buy it? Just like any good executive sports sedan, the CTS-V is perfect for the driver who wants it all. Style, speed, and luxury wrapped it into one package. It's great for serious performance drivers who value feedback and precision in addition to just raw horsepower. And it's not an exaggeration that to say that in the way it drives, the Cadillac CTS-V can really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best European competition. So if you want a car that looks great and drives like a four-door Corvette Z06, this is it. Hey guys, do you like the shirt and jacket that I'm wearing today? Well, I've got great news. You can buy them for yourself. Visit Motorstore.com, our sister site, to find all the branded and licensed racing and driver apparel that you might want. Check it out now at Motorstore.com.